This short video is going to show you how to upload sample FastQ files into the interpret software and use them to create a batch for data analysis. From the home screen we can select the batches option from the file menu or we can use the upload FastQ files shortcut button. Either of these will open up a new window and from here you can click on the green button to select FastQ files from your file structure. You can also drag and drop the files directly into this window. The software will automatically pair the files matching read1 and read2 data. It will also assign a sample ID based on the file name. This can be changed by the user if required. If the background is red it indicates the name has been automatically assigned by the software. To make a change, simply click on the box and enter a new name. Then hit the return button to make the change and click done. The background of the sample ID box will change to green indicating it has been manually assigned. Finally, click on the red button to start uploading the paired FastQ files. At this point, the software gives you an option to create a batch analysis run from the files being uploaded. You can select no here and create the analysis batch later, but we are going to do this now. Here you get the option to choose to create the batch on some of the samples being uploaded or include them all. And then select yes, which brings up the run batch window. Here you can see the selected samples at the bottom of the page and clicking on the red minus button will remove them from the list. You can also choose to add any FastQ files that are already present in the software to the batch. The batch requires a new name and by default this is a date and time stamp but it can be manually entered and you should choose which panel was used in the processing. You will also need to select the analysis protocol you would like to use from the drop down list. When this is set up we can click on the run analysis button. A confirmation screen appears to check you are happy to proceed and the processing will begin when you hit OK. Whilst the analysis is running, you're free to navigate around the software and perform other tasks. And when the first sample has completed, you can open it up to view the data whilst the others are still running. If you decide not to create the analysis batch at the same time as uploading the FastQ files, then you can do this directly at any time from the home screen by clicking on the Run Batch Shortcut button and going through the process as we have just seen. Thanks for watching. If you require more info then contact support at OGT.com and please look out for the next video in the series where we will explore how to view your analysis results in the interpret software.